Hello guys, uh, let us do question number 4 from Mechanics 1, 5th standard Excel 11 exam. Exam was taken in January 2024. Figure 3 shows two horizontal, for, uh, horizontal forces P and Q acting on a particle. The angle between the direction of P and direction of Q is 150 degrees. It is given in the diagram. Force P has magnitude x newton and force Q has magnitude y square root 3. The resultant of P and Q has magnitude 129. Resultant of uh, square root of 129. Resultant of uh, two or more vectors could be found by using head to tail rule. Let me tell you what is the head to tail rule. We join the tail of one vector with the head of the other vector with, by making the same angle 30 degree with the horizontal. Got it? So P will be here and resultant you could find by joining the tail of Q with the head of P. That is your choice. You are taking this vector here to join the other or you can take this vector and join over here. But uh, remember that the what angle they are making with the horizontal, you have to keep them same. So easiest way is just keep this vector P and uh, join the with the head of Q. Uh, let me do uh, this thing here in the given space. For first part, let me, uh, let, because uh, this is common marks, 8 marks, so we will do first and second parts together. First of all, draw the vector Q with the horizontal. Uh, let's say this is Q vector. And then P is acting this way with and making angle 30 degrees. We will join the tail of uh, vector P with the head of vector A. Uh, here, this is vector. We will join the tail of vector P, this is vector P, this is vector Q uh, with the head of vector A. And angle with the horizontal is 30 degrees, so we will take 30 degrees like this. Now the resultant could be found by joining the tail of Q with the head of P. Very simple. So this will be the resultant for these two forces. So this is R, this is vector R, and uh, here better use arrows to represent the vectors got it so vector r magnitude is 129 square root and q magnitude is 5 square root 3 and for this vector it is x now uh, two sides and one angle is given so you can apply law of cosine if you remember the formula for law of cosine that is equals to a square equals to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine a this side and this angle they are opposite to each other this angle and this side so this will be a for sure the other two sides will be b and c so it will be 129 square root here b is you can choose x as b x square plus uh, c is this one 5 square root 3 square minus 2 bc x into 5 square root 3 cosine 30 degrees. So simplify this one. It will be 129 and this is x square plus 75 minus uh, put this one and multiply by 2 in your calculator. We get the answer 50. So x is already there so we will keep x as this. Now, uh, bring this 129 to the right side. So, x square minus 15x, 75 minus 129, minus 54, equals to 0. Here, you could use quadratic or you can, uh, I think you can factorize it easily. x minus, minus 18 and x plus 3. By multiplying 18, multiply 3, you should get negative 54. By solving these two numbers, you should get the middle number. So, only this pair will give you the result. So here we get the two answers x equals to x minus 18 equals to 0 or you will get x plus 3 equals to 0 implies that here x will be equals to negative 3 we will reject this because length cannot be negative. So accept this one x equals to 18 therefore x will be equals to 18. So this is the answer for this part. For second part, the angle between Q and the resultant 
give your answer to nearest degrees. Uh, nearest degrees means you should get the whole number. You need to find this angle. This angle, let's say, because this was B, you can choose as beta. You need to find this angle. Because you already found the value of x, we can find the beta by using law of sines. It is more easier. This side of our sine beta equals to this side over this angle. By law of sines, x over sine beta will be equals to this side divided by sine 30. Sine 30. 129 square root sine 30. X we already found that is 18. You can plug in over there. Uh, best thing you take the reciprocal of both sides to bring it up. So it will be it can be written like that. Sine beta divided by x, x is 18, and sine 30 divided by 129. Just flip both sides. Now get the value for sine beta. Sine 30 is 1 over 2 and uh, 129 square root multiply this 18. To get beta, we will simplify this one and take inverse of this answer to get beta because sine goes to the other side, it becomes the inverse. So it will be 9 over 129, take the inverse of this value. Beta will be equal to 52 degrees to the nearest whole number, 52 degrees. Uh, actually, this is the angle that is making the, this one. Angle between Q and resultant force. We need to find angle between Q and resultant force will be this angle. Actually. This angle. Got it? Beta. We need to find this angle beta. We we, we already got beta, but uh, unfortunately our diagram is not like exactly according to scale. That angle, what we found, that is less than 90. So it's supposed to be like this. Anyways, we are getting this answer here. So to get the beta, uh, one angle is 52 degrees, we can get the required angle that Q is making, R is making with Q is theta that will be equals to 180 degrees minus 52 degrees. So answer will be 128 degrees to the nearest whole number. So this is all about question number 4.